I'm reviewing a bunch of subs right now. Mm-hmm. All different size subs, right? Okay. I have a 10, a 12, mm-hmm. a 15, another 10, another 12. What else? Oh, Is yeah. that the and first then I have some... you've had in your setup? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm curious to see I mean, if you like it. I mean, when I was when I was in high school, I had two oh, 15s yeah. in the right. in, I had I mean, two like 15s in, your, in, in your the home. corner. <laughs> yeah. Car audio 15, some kickers. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, so here's what's interesting, right? In my in my living room, mm-hmm. I'm testing them out there because because my theater's just set up. I don't want to do too much. I don't want to touch it, right? The mm-hmm. sub is all set up, and to have to undo it, all my my presets are set. Everything is good. I get it. And and it's hard to move subs. Like those things are in the right place. I don't want to. It's not easy. Let's just yeah. put it that way. In my theater, it's not easy for me to take one of the subs out, put one of these huge other subs in, and then test it, right? And it's kind of, I don't know. It's kind of weird because, of course, I'm used to having three subs. Mm -hmm. So it's not really fair for me to try one sub. It's not going to sound as good. So, um, yeah. Anyway, I'm setting them up in the living room. Mm -hmm. And there, I'm not not playing it as loud as I play in the theater, right? Mm -hmm. It's just for some reason I just don't want to. Right. Right. I don't need stuff shaking all crazy. And uh, anyway, I ended up trying out one of the THX 8 inch woofers from mm-hmm. Monolith. Okay. And it's similar in performance to that uh, SVS 3000 micro, right? Yeah. Okay. That you got a bunch of, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I got, or I got four of them they sent me. And so you weren't impressed because it's they're, okay. They're eights, right? Yeah. <laughs> they're tiny yeah. little. Yeah. Subs, right? And it's dual eights, actually. Dual eights. Mm-hmm. But still small, right? Yeah. Yeah. They don't dig super deep. Not a ton of output. Yeah. So here's the thing that's interesting, though. And it made me think, how much subwoofer is enough for the room? Because Chana just came out with a video today. And it again, flip the script. He was asking the audience, what right. sub do you think I should get? Yeah. Normally, it's us telling people that you should get this, right? So he's asking people, what, what sub would you recommend? And it got me thinking that it really depends on the room and your expectations, mm-hmm. right? Because in that room, that, that SVS 3000 micro. Yeah, wouldn't do anything. Well, yeah. in your room, you weren't yeah. happy with it, right? In his, in, in his in I don't his, think it would either because he's got the vaulted ceiling. He's got a pretty open yeah, yeah. floor plan. It drops um, down. So, But you could imagine having reviewed them. That yeah. in certain rooms, Correct. right? You're you're gonna be totally fine with those. Absolutely, right? 100%. like completely. Like, dude, I'm hearing great bass. I'm yeah. I'm happy. Yeah. Um, and in this living room, for some reason, I don't need the extra power from the bigger <laughs> subs. Right. And so when we when people ask us, it's almost always like, mm, we always tell them like, get some big big boy mm-hmm. subs, right? And the truth is, we don't know, right? It, it's hard to re- make a recommendation unless we're in the room. We know, you know, the dimensions. We know where the where the room modes are, and we know we have to know what you like, your expectation. How loud do you listen? What do you want? Yeah. Um. So yeah, I think it's just an interesting thing that it, it's so so room dependent and person dependent as far as how much bass somebody might want. Right. So go big or go home, though. <laughs> yeah, for sure, always. <laughs> no, uh, I mean, the reality is, some people. I mean, they're totally fine with like a ten inch or two tens or a single twelve. I just know in my own journey, um, even way before I had a dedicated theater room, I went from a ten inch Velodyne to a fifteen inch Velodyne, and I was like, "Holy cow, I like this a lot!" And it wasn't mm-hmm. a Mac Daddy subwoofer; it was just a bigger cabinet, bigger driver bigger amplifier and then went from that to their kind of higher performance velodyne subwoofer that um oh goodness hgs 15s mm-hmm. i bought one i liked it enough i bought another one you know and so it just it it kind of went down this path of i didn't want to go back down to a six a 12 inch i didn't want to go down to a, a 10 inch and then once i went to 18s now it's like i could still go back to 15s but i don't want to it's like yeah. there's there's things that the 18s physically can do 
that the I'm sorry, the 18s can do that the 15s can't, you know. So yeah. it's like, uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. My friends like to break their floor tiles. Yeah, that's that's crazy though. Yeah, <clears throat> I don't know. I so I was I've been tuning my car system, right? And you know, in car audio, there's sound quality, and then there's like SPL competition, sure. right? It's yeah. almost like total different yeah. ends of the spectrum, Two right? Worlds, yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure that somebody who's doing SPL, mm-hmm. right? You know, hitting whatever 160 dB or whatever they're doing in their cars now, right? It would be hard to make that a good SQ system mm-hmm. at 160 60 yeah. dB sure. because your ears would not like that. Yeah, nah. 160. Like, oh, it's all you know. The bass is that high, but also the mids and and treble are also that. Like, oh, me too much, right? Yeah. So my point is that I was tuning the system, right? Mm-hmm. I added a few extra small subs that, you know, just put under the seats, you know, right. an extra little bass here. Um, and I had it all balanced out, you know, sound quality. I'm just hanging out with the family, just cruising, right? And uh, I figured, you know, what, look, while I'm testing this out, let me let me just turn up the bass like I would if I was, you know, if I was in high school. Like, just as loud as the, the bass could possibly go, mm-hmm. you know, that's it. Just as loud as right. it could go without distorting, right? Right. And dude, it sounds ridiculous, right? Like this windows are the mirrors are shaking, right? But it's almost <clears> like <throat> mm, I don't mind it that much. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't hate it, even though I'm, yeah. I'm all about like the proper, sure. you know. Yeah. But it's still man, fun. Bass is, bass is forgivable. You know what I mean? Having a lot of bass, having that extra bass, like too much bass is almost like oh, I can live with it. It still put it still put a grin. <laughs> Dan just said he bought some Stark Sound the Bogo. So apparently they were selling like buy one get one free, uh-huh. which is pretty awesome. Um, hope they won't disappoint after hearing you talk about the 18s. Mm-hmm. Um, dual 15s is awesome, man. For most rooms, having a pair of 15s is phenomenal. I mean, I ran the, uh, I bought the PB 16s. Love those. Used them. I think it's about a year and a half, maybe two years. And then I upgraded to the 18s, and <clears throat> they just took it to a whole new level. But that doesn't discredit what the 15s are capable of. Um, the dual 15s was the first time that I ever had anything fall in my house. It was something in the adjacent room. I hear something kind of crash. It, it wasn't anything big, but like a little figurine in my son's room. It fell off the his um, like a like a shelf, basically. I'm like, oh dang, that's the first time that's ever happened, but. So yeah, I think yeah. you'll you'll unlock. let let us know because I haven't heard any of the Stark subwoofers or speakers. So definitely let us know, Dan. Once you get those set up, love so luck- Luckily, I've heard you know a good amount of subs, right? So I have a some yeah. de- decent experience, right? And so I would say, oh, uh, you know, this kind of leads to something else. And I was talking to somebody about what is considered full range because they were saying, you know, everybody yeah. says twenty hertz, right? Mm-hmm. Is is the the target and that's what i've said also right like the range of human hearing yeah generally 20 hertz is as low as you're gonna hear right some people maybe they can't hear it some people they can maybe hear 16 who knows right yeah um but he was saying "Mm, 30 hertz is what he found right Mm. and i would say oh there's a lot of content music wise that only really goes down to 30 hertz (laughs) but i listen to some hip-hop that Mm -hmm. that it definitely has 20 hertz right Yeah. yeah you won't know if you if it only goes goes down to 30 right yeah. So the interesting thing is <laughs> we were just saying what the difference is, right? So I can listen to some good book, bookshelf speakers mm-hmm. that go down to 30 hertz that that in room can play 20 hertz. Like it's down maybe right. 10 or 12 dB, right? Mm-hmm. Right. So you can you get a little sense, Taste. right? Let's, you get a, a sample. Little, uh, I hear something over there, right? And for bookshelf speakers, I think I could – I'd be pretty happy with it, right? Yeah. If I had to, I'd be like, I, I could enjoy my music, right? I'm For still sure. hearing, I, I'm still hearing stuff, right? Yeah. But when you get from that 30 to 20, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's the one, what I described as like, nobody has to be around, but when you hear it, you kind of like look to your left and right and you just kind of have to smile like, <laughs> this is nice. Mm, yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. And then below 20, that's the, that gets into the scary territory. Yeah, like I, stuff, I don't hear anything, starts, but I don't know why stuff is shaking. Like stuff starts moving. Like when your door is physically doing some of this number, it's like, yeah, that that's a scary I mean, territory. Imagine, like, imagine I don't watching, know what's happening over there. 
what was that movie? Um, the Conjuring. <laughs> so imagine watching like The Con- Conjuring and something, you know, big yeah. bass and scary scene and like <laughs> the door starts shaking. You're like, oh, snap. Get me out of this room, man. Yeah. 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 And you know what? Actually, that's kind of a good way to test to see if you uh, if you need to. <laughs> Bolt things down yeah, or right, blue tack things down. You play that sub twenty hertz yeah. frequencies. Yeah. You don't really hear too much. Yeah, but just stuff is moving. You start feeling it more in your body, and yeah, like BB Photo says, it's it's a tactile experience for sure. Yeah, so I assume that you yeah. like to be scared by your bass. I don't like to be scared. I, I want it to be balanced. I mean, Jessica and I watched. Um, okay, so she wanted the other day. She wanted to watch. National Treasure. So that's an older movie, Nicolas Cage. Um, you know, they're looking for um, treasure and there's kind of some puzzles they got to kind of figure out. But I'm thinking, man, we've seen that movie a bunch of times. So I'm thinking, wait a minute, there's a newer movie. It's not new, but it's a newer movie that I knew she hadn't seen. And I said, you want to watch um, Uncharted? And so that's kind of a modern day version of of that deals with like you know trying to find the gold and they're having to figure out like where it is and how to get to it and and so we we watched that dude and there was some stuff low frequencies lots throughout that whole movie man i mean it's a great great demo uh yeah. like lots of great demo for you know subwoofer stuff so if you guys haven't seen that um uncharted is is pretty phenomenal it's what it's you have to go into watching the movie knowing that it's stupid it's it's almost like fast and furious kind of thing it's it's really over the top unbelievable some of the stuff they do but it's because it's based off the the video game and pretty much the scenes that they have in the the movie are replicated from the uncharted series so it's meant to be unbelievable if that makes sense so, but it's it's a fun movie. So we watched that, but yeah, there was a uh, quite a bit of shaking going on in the room. Yeah. Mm. You know, Not that kind of shaking. Okay, just a second. <laughs> uh, you know, so um, you know what I like about the bass that's below thirty hertz, right? And even below twenty hertz. Mm-hmm. When you hear that, the yeah. reason I like it, I don't, I don't know. If, I might be the only one, right? I might be weird, but you tell me, Michael. But I kind of feel like it's an inside joke. You know what I mean? Like you're you're hearing this bass, and you know that the the guy watching TV doesn't have any idea no. that that's happening. No, right? No. Soundbar probably so not going to hear that either, no. right? With those no, subs, no. and so you're just like you hear like, <clears throat> and you're like, only I know it. I know Michael hears that, right? But those other people, those other folks, yeah, they they had no idea that that happened. Yeah. So I kind of like that exclusivity. You know what I mean? <laughs> like I got, I'm trying to I get more to people. Hear some, yeah, I'm trying to get more people into it because you know when they when they tell me what they have and they're like, I look up the specs and their subwoofers rated down to 35 hertz. I just go, oh man, you are missing on so much fun, bro. So much fun. I mean, yeah. there's nothing wrong with having you know subwoofers that only go down to 35, but it's it's kind of like taking part of your like if you had a, a three way speaker and you take the top end and at a certain frequency you just kind of chop it off. Yeah. It's like you're missing that information, man. It's there. It wants you to hear it, but your system isn't capable of handling that. So, yeah, it's like the basics. I feel like the the base is just the 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 ground the groundwork for yeah. for all the rest of the frequencies, right? Yeah. You get the base down, like the black levels, right? You got to have good yeah. black levels, right? Well, Everything base- else can be good, but if you don't have those solid black levels, it's like uh, you're I missing agree. out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I agree. I'm missing out, by the way, on uh, on my projector setup. Need a JVC now. There you go. All right. If you would like to join us every week on Mondays at, what time is it? About 6 p.m. Central, which is the best time. That's where I am. Make sure you join us at youtube.com slash daily high five. We out. <laughs>